Hello and welcome, my beautiful Pisces, my mermaids and mermen, my sea sponges of the sea. Brenda Tarot here with your Pisces daily vibe from your guide's messages. November the 2nd is today. So let's see what we've got with our oracle messages. Our first card that we've got is rest. So we've been working hard and we need to take a nap and get some rest. Um, even though, um, you know, even though... Um, it asks us to slow down and rest and be very gentle with ourselves right now. We know that now we can cancel our appointments today or for part of the day and take a nap or just take a rest. Maybe you need a time out. Maybe you're just pushing yourself too hard, Pisces, today. So remember, you are the gentle fish and you're delicate. Even if you're a shark, your skin is only so thick. Okay, so by drawing this card, you're urged to let go of any unnecessary activities and to focus on self-renewal. So take care of yourself today, Pisces. Don't push yourself too hard. Um, do some time management. Make out a priority list so that you can comfortably get through things without feeling overwhelmed or tired out. Give yourself a hug. Look in the mirror and say, I love you. I promise to treat you with respect and care that you deserve. And Pisces, you're wonderful. No rushing or time urgencies allowed today. This is a day of sweet kindness where you treat yourself as gently as a baby cradled in your arms. So this is time for you, Pisces, to just take your time today. Take a time out. Treat yourself good. Be kind to yourself today. You've got the card, inspire others. And perhaps by doing this, you're going to inspire others to take time out. Many will be drawn to our energy today. The more we acknowledge that we are spirit choosing to have a physical experience, the more people will be drawn to our light. Today's a big day where we need to lead by example. Okay? And we need to step up and be there to inspire, but also to assist and help others today. We need to be encouraging in our dealings with other people. Maybe people at work, our, our, our colleagues, maybe our friends, our family members, maybe our partners in life. Um, you know, making others feel good about themselves is the greatest gift that we can give. So today's a day that we need to think about um, doing unto others. Uh, this is about taking care of our needs, but also making others realize their self-worth, that they should do the same, that they should take care of their vessel, take care of themselves, do things that are good for them. And we can set that example today by showing them that they can also do time management, they can also make out priority lists, and not to stress out so much. Coming in next, we have the labyrinth. Well, we all know that the labyrinth is, I always say this, slow and steady wins the race. Um, you're going to get to your goal, but it may take time today. And that's okay because you are taking time today. Don't rush doing anything. This is about you staying focused, staying on in alignment and staying on your path, but not pushing yourself too quickly. Okay, when you think you've done everything you can, you hit a wall and have, a, have to start again sometimes. And the labyrinth that keeps you going through trial and error to the end. There are no sh shortcuts to success, my beautiful Pisces. So you have to take your time. Be prepared for a few false turns and maybe a few dead ends. Maybe even the odd detour today. It's all part of it. Again, it's not failure, okay? It's all part of the process. Even when you feel you're starting back to square one, we will be able to begin again with new information and greater knowledge of the landscape, right? So this is about not pushing ourselves, taking our time. You know, we think of the, the, the hare and the tortoise. Um, you know, the tortoise wins because the tortoise does not veer off its path. It plods along one little slow step at a time. And it carries its house on its back. So when it gets tired, it just tucks in and has a rest. It doesn't get off its path, though. It, once it comes out of there, it's had its rest. It continues forward on its path. So this is saying today, we don't have to change our plans, okay? We can still go forward and get everything done today, but we don't have to kill ourselves doing it. Coming in next, you have the potential gateway. Oh, I like this. This is all about the, you know, having a vision and a promise of a new beginning and a new course or route is coming into our awareness. It is time to utilize our knowledge and complete the task at hand. As we finish one aspect of our life, we begin thinking about what we would like to do next. This is part of our life's journey. We are constantly shifting and developing. We may feel contentment, fulfillment and even pride because we have accomplished something wonderful 
There is productivity and reward as a bonus for our efforts today. And the good fortune we realize is evident that we are putting sufficient energy into our life's journey to get out of it all we desire. So there's going to be portholes. There's going to be, um, you know, potential gateways opening up. There's going to be uh, doorways of opportunity that could present themselves today. And we need to confidently realize that we can go through them, but we go through them at our own pace, one step at a time and not rushing in. Coming in next, we have an interesting card, and this is Free Associate. And it says, allow the first thing that comes into your mind without self-censorship to bestow a vision upon you. Wow. So what exactly does that mean, right? Let's see what that means. Um, you know, I think this is about relaxing and just taking your time and looking at things from a different perspective, right? Not getting up in our head, not uh, worrying about things and going forward at a steady pace, okay? You know, the free associate card is an invitation to pick an image on this card and, and uh, you know, a word in its text or a second creativity oracle card and then let this meaning freely percolate through our consciousness. Oracles are tools for understanding what is the first thing that cards, image, or words bring to mind without us censoring it. So when we turn this card over, we have a wolf, we have a fish, we have giraffe, we have homes, we have a volcano, we have trees, we have water, There's we have the stars. There's so many things here that we can look at in this card, right? And, you know, as it says here, there are giraffes, but on closer examination, they are a family. Families need a home and there are huts in the distance, but the wolf seems to be a clear and present danger to this family. Perhaps the meaning is that the family is too exposed to danger and should spend more time at home. Free association is an enjoyable way to expand our mind and become more intuitive. Time spent allowing our inner guidance system to speak to us. Teaching, uh, you know, using this technique can present us with concepts and plans of action that we might never have otherwise formulated. So to my way of thinking, this card says watch for any signs today. And think about them. Why are you seeing repeated numbers? Why are you hearing uh, the same song? Why are you seeing the same neon signs out there on posters and things like that? Um, are you going past the same scenery every day and you keep looking at the same thing, that one little thing in the scenery? So it's telling us a message that we need to pay attention to these signs that the universe and our guides are sending us today. And we need to allow those things to come into our mind. And we need to look at it clearly, right, without self-censorship. And then we can, we can have a clear sight line of what these messages mean to us today. So keep your eyes open for messages. Our last card is home. And it says your household situation is improving, either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. Mm, okay. All righty. Take a look around your home. Does it reflect warmth? If not, this is easily remedied and oh, so important to do, Pisces. It's a simple task of using our creative imagination to add warm energy to our household, such as lighting and a fireplace or some candles or adding a cozy, blan cozy blankets and pillows or displaying greeting cards and fresh flowers. So by warming up our outer world, our inner flame responds to meet it. This increases our energy level, which automatically shifts all outward appearances towards the better. Watch how these simple steps recharge the flame within every one of our household everyone in our household this flame cleanses away ne negativity and brings in the new with vigor and irresistible and you know invitation so maybe some of us are going to be able to enhance and create a warmer ambience and environment in our home and it, it's just simple little things I know myself especially during the winter months in the summer I'm fine because there's all kinds of foliage and flowers and and all of that around me but in the winter I need that bouquet of flowers to look at I need them to cheer up my day um, you know maybe you're moving to a new home or you've just moved to a new location there could be a new person in your life that's returning or moving in your home someone is moving out perhaps there is an increased romance or a harmony in your home now love this card a problem with neighbors is resolving clear the space in your home remodel know that your home is safe and protected 
we should all feel comfortable in our homes. It doesn't matter how opulent or how modest our homes are. It's a feeling. It's a comfort feeling. It's feeling sheltered and safe and warm and cozy in our home, right? So this is all about watching for signs today, knowing that there could be a potential gateway opening up of opportunity, taking our time and being kind to ourselves. And in the process, we have that ability to inspire others. Well, my beautiful Pisces, this is your daily vibe from your guide's message for November the 2nd. And I wish you a beautiful day today, one filled with peace and harmony and perhaps abundance. So know that I send you lots of love and many blessings. And Pisces, I'll see you soon.